This is a lesson in mail merging for Microsoft 2008. The first thing you want to do is open Excel and create a master sheet. I've already done so, and I saved it to my desktop just to make things go a little quicker for us. So here we have it. It's basically a list of all the people you're going to invite to your event. In the first row, you're going to create what are called placeholders, and those are the titles for each column. So I have name on envelope, and that would be Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, or Johnson family, or individuals such as these. The next is address 1, which is the street address. The second is suites or apartments, and the third is city, state, and zip. If you need to add more, then you would just do so right here, but just remember to name each column. Okay, and then just save it and X out. Now we're going to go into Word and start the mail merging process. So go up to Tools, down to Mail, mail Merge Manager. Go to Select Document Type and Create New. I want to create envelopes, so I'll click here and I will press OK. Now what we need to do is tell the printer what kind of envelope we're going to be printing. So go to Page Setup in File and select your orientation. My printer goes like this. And I'm going to pick the size of my envelope if it's already here. If not, you can go to Manage Custom Sizes and create the exact size of your envelope. And you would name it here and press OK. I'm going to do a 5x7 right here. Press OK. Perfect. So now, as you can see, the paper has changed to look more like an envelope. So in the second part, we're going to select Recipients List, which is Get List, Open New Data Source. And we are going to select the Excel sheet that we just created. So wherever you saved it, go ahead and look for it. I just saved mine right here on desktop to make it go fast. Okay, press OK. Just give it a moment. It's just loading all of our contacts. There we go. Perfect. I'm just going to scroll down so you can see it a little better. So as you can see, those placeholders that we created in the Excel sheet have shown up right here. So it's very, very important to put the placeholders in the first row in your Excel sheet. So now we're going to drag each one to where we need it to go. Just like so. This is the apartment or suite number. Oh, I wanted it to go down. I'll just press enter. There we go. And I'll press enter right here. So I want it to go right there. Yes. Okay. Perfect. This is also the time where we're going to add our return address. So I'm going to make one up. Um, street, uh, Palm Ridge, Colorado, 99999. Okay. We will also change the font, the size, the color, anything you want to make it look nice or personable. That's This is the time to do it. I'm going to do the same font as that one, but I think I'll make it a 16 instead. Awesome. And it fits, looks nice. Perfect. So we've basically created the template that each contact is going to emulate. So we're going to go down to preview results and to change it from the template into seeing each individual address, we press this ABC button right here. Ta-da! So now, this is our first one that is on our list, and we're going to scroll over just to see them all and make sure they all look nice. There's the second one. The suite looks good. That one looks good. Apartment 8, yep. Because some of them will have suites and some of them won't, so I just like to make sure everything looks nice and even. The computer does it pretty well. Perfect. So now we're almost done, and we just complete the merge right here, the second button, Merge to New Document. So here we have it, and we can actually see each individual envelope that we created. So much easier. <laughs> so now we'll go up to File, and we can print just like so. 
Now remember when you insert your envelopes, you do have to manually do so and you have to do it one at a time. So it takes a little bit of practice, but don't pile them on top and expect the printer to eat it one at a time because it might get stuck. So just um, be patient and send one envelope in at a time and it goes pretty smoothly and then before you know it you'll be done. So there you have it and thank you for watching my mail merging lesson.